On Friday, Detroit City FC earned a 2-2 draw against the Erie Admirals in front of another record-breaking crowd of 3,234 at Cast Tech High School. Early on, Le Rouge would create its best scoring chance of the first half with Colin McAtee possessing the ball in the corner. He sends a ball in the box to Jeff Atkins, who gets his shot deflected wide with the goalkeeper off his line. Minutes later, Erie would return the favor with its best chance of the first half when Michael Lamb is forced to make a goal line clearance to keep the match scoreless. With a 0-0 scoreline at halftime, goals were bound to be looming in the second half, and neither team disappointed. The Admirals would strike first in the 57th minute when Andre Landell would send a rocket of a shot past Brett Mullen to take the 1-0 lead. But LaRouge had an answer in its back pocket all night long and would finally break its scoring drought in the 67th minute. Tyler Arnone carries the ball down the right flank, sends a great ball into the box to Sean Claude Lawson, who makes quite the nifty move to find the equalizer. Just minutes later, an eerie defender would be called for a handball in the box, giving DCFC the chance to take the lead. Captain Josh Rogers steps up to take the penalty and buries it past Daniel Mudd to give City the 2-1 lead. On the verge of a fourth consecutive home victory, City would end up conceding in the 89th minute during a scrum outside the 18-yard box that caught Brett Mullen off his line. Mike Bamber finds the ball and winds up a shot that sails over the Detroit City FC defenders and drops into the net for the game-tying goal. With the draw, Le Rouge remains unbeaten at home and improves its overall record to an impressive 4-2-0. and zero.